So like, get past me one. Today I'm gonna talk about my respirator by Miller, model LPR 100, size medium large. So now we're gonna look at the respirator. There's the front of it, the side, the filters. And I'll show you guys in a minute how to change out the filters. Here's the inside. Here's the little straps. All right, so to change out the filters, right? There's a little knob in here, right there. So what you're gonna do is twist it. Bam. So it was horizontal at first, and then you put it vertical to latch it, which I'm talking about this little piece right here it on latch, because we did this side now. It's on latch. So all you do is pull it out. And you pop this guy out. And just like that. And that's how we change out the filter. And you put it in the same way. You know? Just like that, put this guy back on. So like I said, all you do is twist the back piece and it'll latch back on. Just like that. And you do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to put it on. Well, first I'm gonna take off my hat. All right, so this is the bottom piece. This is the top. You can adjust the straps. So get this guy like this. Put it close to your face. You can adjust the straps if you need to to make it tighter or looser. Do a little test to see if any air goes through when you breathe on it. Just like that. So one thing I like about this mask, it will not fog up your glasses. So as I breathe through it, my glasses will not fog up. Watch. That's a plus on the, on the mask. This mask is also designed to be under your welding helmet for when you're welding. So, like I said, this respirator is designed to fit under your welding helmet as you're welding. So let's try it out. So I'm gonna repeat myself again, you guys, just in case you couldn't hear me when I was wearing the respirator. So what I said is that the respirator will not fog up your glasses, which is a huge plus. And the mat, the respirator itself is designed to fit under a welding helmet. And it does fit under my Miller Digital Elite. It'll barely hit it just a little bit, but not too much. Now, I don't know if um, it's just because they're the same company. This respirator and my helmet are both Miller. So I don't know if it's just because they're both Miller, so it's designed to fit under just the Miller Digital Elite. I have no idea if it fits perfectly fine on a Lincoln or a Harbor Freight brand or any other brand type of helmet. So you got, I recommend you guys try it out. It's a great respirator. If it's what you guys are looking for and what you guys need, I give this respirator two thumbs up and five stars. So give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe. This is Big Jerry M94 signing off. Oh. Uh.